Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Um, good evening for our American people. I believe it's 10 p.m. over there. Um, and good day for my Australian people. It is midday over here in Australia on Thursday. Um, I'm Mel Fleming. How are we all? Um, I missed last week, I think. Yeah, I missed last week. Uh, I'm totally winging today's show by the, the you know, seat of my pants here. I'm totally not prepped, right? Um, so anything could happen today. Legit, anything could happen. Um, now, for the people tuning in on A1R Radio, I have my dog walking around at the moment. So if I get a bit, you know, I, I don't know, if I'm a little bit higgledy wiggledy like I said, my dog's getting around. I was not prepped for today. Doing it by the seat of my pants, but stuff it. Let's just, you know, jump in. Hi to my Moonstruck by TV people. You know what? I'm, I was having a little bit of a think yesterday and today. Yes, it hurt. Yes, you could probably see the smoke coming out of my ears. Whatever, right? <laughs> um, but I was having a little think. To the listeners and the viewers, this is going to sound a little bit, you know, attention-seeking, but I want to know. I want to know, okay, do you like my show enough that you think I should continue, okay? Like the radio show and the Moonstruck My TV show. Do the listeners and followers of the radio station and of myself uh, like listening to me once a week that much that you would like me to continue this show, Okay. I'm only going to continue if I get enough likes, loves, et cetera, et cetera, from, you know, out in the world and out in the atmosphere. Because I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit boring. I need some some reassurance. Rosh, give me some of that reassurance. Um, my ITV people, do you, do you want to see my dog? Do you? Oh, her name's Bella. Okay, her name's Bella. She is a rescued um, purebred American stuffy. Uh, she's three years old. And holy shitballs, man. She's attitude plus, plus, plus. It is worse than having a child. I think, you know, when I have my Debbie Downer moments, which I have, we all have. Um, when I have my Debbie Downer moments and I physically cannot get out of bed, I, I admit that <laughs> I am terrible and I may actually order my dog, you know, home delivered McDonald's or Hungry Jack <laughs> or something instead of, you know, attempting to get out of bed, have a shower, get in the car and go to the shops to get dog food. Now, this only happens once every so often, right? But Staffy's, Staffy, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, Blair, Staffordshire, oh, whatever. American Staffies or Staffies in general, right, are quite attitude. So the fact that I've only done this, as in ordered her McDonald's twice, maybe three times. I think there was one time I got her a McFlurry. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Um, she's now decided, the dog has now decided that she doesn't eat dog food ever. So um, Bella has taken to, and I mean, I have bought cheap dog food, expensive dog food, wet dog food, dry dog food, wet freaking dog food. And Bella has decided that no, 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 she's not. Um, she only wants to eat human food, okay? So, and it's not McDonald's specific, right? It's whatever human food. And Bella will literally starve herself. Now, I won't starve her. I give her dog food, right? She's got plenty of dog food, plenty of water. So all the animal protectors out there, I'm not actually doing anything wrong by it. Um, but she will not eat any food if it's dog food for three days, at, at least three days. And then towards the end of the three days, she starts getting cheap. She, you would think one would eat something. Wouldn't you? No, my dog doesn't. What she will do is anytime I go near her, she gets her paws and hooks them around yeah. my feet, nearly tripping me over, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so I decided to take a caller today. I believe we have Amber in Afton, Wyoming. Hi, Amber. Hello. How are you, darling? 
Oh, I'm, I'm doing okay. You're doing just okay? Yeah, I'm just kind of having a hard time in life, but things will get better. Just trying to be positive. Good, darling, good, because really, you know, the only thing that we absolutely have control over is our reactions to stuff. And, you know, even in shitty, shitty situations, if we can try and find a speck of positivity in that, my hat goes off to you, sweetheart. You are a strong, strong person. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, sorry, you go, sweetheart. You go, you talk. Uh, um, so, um, I am uh, going to court against my ex, and he is a narcissist. Oh, and, yeah. Um, he was abusing me sexually, physically, mentally, and yep. I just... I just want to know if I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just wanting to know if court's going to go well and he's going to have to deal with the consequences of his actions and um, if I'm going to get justice. Well, let's, let's take a look at the cards, darling. And um, so today I'm working with my Celtic cards. I'm going to draw a card for you today and we'll see if we can give you a bit of guidance on that situation. But I can tell you already, it takes a lot, a lot of strength, internal strength to walk away from that type of situation or any type of abusive situation, okay? So already you should be giving yourself big, big hugs, okay? Big, big hugs. That's a big move and I'm so proud of you. All right, let's see what Spirit has to say for Amber. Oh, my God, this is so apt. Okay, Amber, are you tuning in via radio or are you watching on ITV? What's that? Are you tuning in via radio, sweetheart, or ITV? I'm through the through my phone. I, I'm kind of having a hard time hearing you. Hold on two seconds. Is that better? Yes, that's a lot better. Okay, so the card that I've drawn for you today, sweetheart, is the a blessing for a fresh start card. Now this is so beautiful because it falls into what's happening for you at the moment. So I'm going to go out on a limb here because I feel pretty confident about this, that everything is going to go well at court, but you're not going to get like an instant satisfactory outcome, okay? The, the court situation is going to go well, but you need to allow karma to do its thing and for that to happen you need to allow time okay now during the time that you're doing your self-healing is going to be the time that nature uh likes to work to her best abilities all right so i want you to take positive feedback that it's going to go well and like i was saying before you have already done the hardest part and that is stepping away from all of that situation okay stay strong to yourself stay true to yourself and it's going to go yeah. so well for you, sweetheart. So, so well. Okay. Okay. Um, you can do this. Two, you can do this. What's that? I said you can do this. You are so strong. I have so much respect for you right now. 